When it comes to renting a camper van in New Zealand, there are tons and tons of options. It can be pretty overwhelming. Yeah, and honestly, it really just comes down to what your budget is and what level of comfort you're looking for. We chose to go with Mad Campers for a few reasons. One, it's a small Kiwi-owned company with a really fun vibe. They're a great option for if you're traveling on a budget. And the vans themselves are simple yet functional. So come on over and let's give you a van tour. Come on. Welcome to our home. So this is kind of what the inside of our camper van looks like on most days, a couch setup. But at nighttime, this all turns down into a bed. And right under here is our storage. And to be totally honest, this camper van model does not have all that much storage. As you can see from our big mess up there, what do we call this, Ben? It's called the pit. <laughs> that is the pit because it's where all our junk goes. Um, under where I'm sitting is actually where the bedding is stored. So we can't really put anything down there. But under this cushion, um, this pops out. This actually turns into a table when we want it to. And under here is where we have all of our clothes stored nicely in packing cubes. Now I'm gonna show you how we put down our bed. ready for bed. And this is how we take down the bed every day. Voila! And welcome to our kitchen. Most camper vans of our size have a tailgate kitchen, meaning that you cook out of the back. This drawer pulls out and you can use it as a cooktop surface. We have all the utensils that come with the camper van. We also have a mini fridge, which doesn't really turn hot foods cold. It just kind of keeps them cool. And we also have a working faucet that goes straight into our gray water tank. And we've got this little table and chair set up so we can enjoy dinner with a view. And this sticker right here is actually a very important part of our van. It says self-contained, which means that we have a gray water tank to hold all of our dirty water, which we can dump when it's full. And it also means we have a toilet. But if you've been watching this video carefully, you probably noticed we don't have a toilet in sight. So I'm actually going to bring you over here and have Ben show you where our toilet is hiding. So we keep our portable toilet up in our roof rack. We also call our roof rack our upstairs. In our upstairs, we have our extra luggage and a outdoor tarp for our van. Now the toilet, we actually haven't even used it or brought it down from the roof rack this whole time we've been in New Zealand because there are so many public restrooms everywhere. But it is actually essential to have that toilet up there if we want to do any kind of freedom camping at all. So now you've pretty much seen the whole of our camper van. And while this size vehicle has worked out really great for us, there are a couple things we should point out. Number one, you're not able to stand. Even if you're short like me, there's no way you're gonna be able to stand up in this size of a camper van. And like we mentioned earlier, there's not a ton of storage. So you do have to get kind of creative with um, where you put your stuff. But it is a great option for traveling in New Zealand on a budget. And it's actually worked out pretty well for us. Yeah, so if you're okay with just the essentials, this is a great option for you. And if you are planning a camper van trip to New Zealand, we've got a ton of resources. We've put so much time and effort into trying to help you plan your road trip in New Zealand. So just head to our website, comment below. We'll try our best to answer. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to subscribe, subscribe to our channel. channel.